Hello YouTube, so this is my VW T4. I've had issues starting this up. It's now December, but for the past couple of months, as it's been getting colder and colder, it's been getting more and more difficult to start up in the morning. My plan was to make a YouTube video of me showing it not starting, and then me changing out a few of the glow plugs, and then starting it up. It was gonna be a glow plug replacement video, but it did not turn out to be that simple. I've actually had to change a few components including the battery, because that was underpowered, and the starter motor, and the glow plugs. Did sort of find it a little bit difficult to film because I got so stressed out. I had to get the REC out and everything. I sort of gave up on filming, uh, lost it a bit, but I'll try and salvage what I can. Okay, so just heading under the engine here, we can see right next to this vacuum pump, oh, my light's moving, Hang on. right next to the vacuum pump here, behind it, you've got the glow plugs here. There's one, there's another one up there, two, three, and I believe there's another two behind there, which are more difficult to get to on this engine. This is the AAB engine. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna change this one up and perhaps that one or that one as well. See if I can get the van started with just changing those two. So the top nut you need to take off, that just holds the cable in place, that's an eight millimeter. And then below that, you've got the 12 millimeter plug itself. Uh, so I'm just gonna take the nut off to begin with. Oh, this is especially hard to film. Obviously, because I can't get it up on the ramps. Right, I'm going to move on now to getting the 12 millimeter around this. If I can, uh, crack that loose and I should be able to pull the glow plug out. Right, so we've got the old plug obviously nice and cooked there i don't know if all of my plugs aren't working or if some of them aren't working i'm sort of taking a guess but i am going to put the new plug in its old location if we look on the um box it says step one hand tighten step two tighten basically to 20 to 25 newton meters so ideally you'd use a torque wrench like this and you'd set it to that torque um, so that you've got it to the right stiffness as it were but I don't have a long 12 millimeter socket so I'm not going to be able to do that so I'm just going to sort of hand tighten it with the uh, with the 12 millimeter spanner here I just guess I'm not going to go too tight but just how I would a spark plug there we go shiny new glow plug on there so I'm just going to proceed to change one more as well Ideally, I'd change all five of them, but for the moment, I've only got two, but it's just the same for all of them. It's also gonna really help if you've got some sort of spanner like this, um, just that bends like a crow's foot type spanner or something like that. And it's just gonna get a lot easier into there because it's sort of at an angle. I did manage it with the normal 12 millimeter on this one, uh, but the other ones might be more tricky. Second one out. All right, so I've managed to get Two new plugs on, one right on the end there, and then the second one. That one I could change if I get hold of another plug. That's easy to get to. The rest of them, the other two on this engine are impossible to get to from underneath. So, I'd just recommend 
removing parts you could put this into the service position or maybe even remove the radiator not quite sure but you'd have to start removing stuff to get access to all five but I've managed to change two and I could get the third one if I had a third plug with just spanners not easy but possible now I've got to try starting it up this may or may not work because my battery is a little bit flat hence the uh, jump starting before Right, it clearly wasn't going to start on just two new plugs so i'm going to change that third one as well just been to collect this from my local parts store okay so interestingly enough the first two plugs i took out look like that the third one i took out is all wet completely different to these two i'm guessing this one wasn't burning any fuel so it might be that the original two i replaced um were good already this is obviously not good and who knows what the state of the final two are. I can't get to them, unfortunately, but I'm hoping that changing this one out, this third one, is gonna mean that I can start my van up. Okay, I have three new plugs in. One, two, and three there. Hopefully this is gonna start up now, especially since that last one was the only one that looked like it was bad. Let's give it a try. I let these cycle through a couple of times just to warm them up. Keep an eye on my voltage because this battery is half flat, so I may need to jump start it. All right, wish me luck. Okay, so obviously I've got the RAC out. Uh, all they really did is they gave it some cold start spray and they hooked it up to their van and battery pack so it had a lot more cranking power. They did a test on my battery. This is my old battery. They said it's perfectly healthy, but it's underpowered for the vehicle. So this is a 60 amp hour battery. I don't really know much about uh, batteries. That's the cold cranking amps, 540. That's how many amps it can provide at zero degrees C, something like that but they advised me to get a better battery. So I went and bought more of a premium battery. It's the largest size, it's 80 amp hours. It's got 740 cranking amps instead of the 540 there. And that just gives it a bit of oomph. You could tell in the uh, videos, in the clips before, that it was struggling to crank a little bit, which is just as important really as the glow plugs. So I'm still out on three out of five glow plugs, but I've got better battery and I haven't tried starting it up this morning but it is cold it's about four or five degrees C and give it a go warm for the plugs again I honestly don't know if this is going to work I might need a bit of the spray because it's still on three out of five plugs. I'll get the other two plugs replaced soon at the garage, but for the moment, I'm starting it with the spray. struggle that was. So after breaking down again, well failing to get it started at work, I got the RAC out for a second time. Um, what had actually happened is I was trying to get it started for so long that my starter motor packed in completely, completely broke. So the RAC bump started me and it fired up straight away with a bump start. So I thought, well obviously I had to get a new starter motor in it, uh, the starter motor I did have was a cheap eBay part. It cost me 40 quid or something like that. I've got away with it for ages because my glow plugs have been fine and it's been warm weather and everything. Um, but 
I went to all parts and I got this starter motor, which cost me £103. Why? The power of why? But as soon as I put this starter motor in, even without all of the glow plugs being replaced, uh, it fired up um, without too much trouble at all. It made a massive difference getting a good starter motor. That's what I would recommend doing along with your glow plugs if you're having difficulty. Yeah, make sure your battery is good. Make sure you've got a good quality starter motor. And if you can't get all of the plugs, that's fine. But I've got four out of five working plugs now and it starts up like a dream. For the glow plugs themselves, I would say you can just get under, on this engine, the AAB, this is the AAB engine, you, this is five cylinder, you can get the one, two, three glow plugs done yourself, just with a spanner, just get under there and get a spanner on it. For these two on this end, these are much more difficult, I ended up taking it to the garage and they replaced one of them, but not the other one, because they said it was too stiff and they were scared of snapping the plug. But they only charged me 70 quid for replacing the one plug. So I know I've got four, four new glow plugs. Possibly the other one isn't working, but you just saw it stops up absolutely fine. But really, get those three glow plugs done yourself. Make sure your battery's good. Make sure you've got a good starter motor. That, that should get you started, hopefully. Good luck.